came in to get his hair colored. And what we are going to do today is we started off the first time doing the lightest color and we decided that we wanted to do a little darker and then we even decided to go a smidge darker than that. It's always way easier to go darker than to go lighter. So today I'm just gonna show you how simple and easy it is to go and blend gray. So we're just gonna wet them down just to get any excess out of We'll tell dry him good, but he can still have a little moisture left in his hair. Now this color, it's just two mixed together. And all you do is swish it back and forth and around. Now, like the color I used before that was more of a cream, this will be more of a foam that'll come out as a mousse. massage it into the hair without using your nails. With this, since it is more gray blending, it isn't quite as strong as a regular color, but just to be on the safe side, you don't wanna be abrasive to the scalp. Once it is all massaged and rubbed in good, this one I'll sit on for five minutes. All right, now that he's been done processing for five minutes, what we're going to do is, I'm gonna rinse out the extra color, then we will shampoo him, and we will condition him with the tingly conditioner, and then we will head back to the chair. It's held dry and good, and then we'll head on back. And this color blending for men lasts about till their next haircut, and that's what's nice about it is, it's not as permanent, so it fades off nicely, and you won't see a line coming out. What I'm going to use on him today is the Crew Fiber. It's nice and matte, so it won't be shiny against his hair. And as you can see, the gray isn't 100% covered, but it is just blended, and it will still shimmer through a little bit, but it'll grow up very nicely fun. 